Hi and welcome again here from Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona, live from the show floor. I'm here with G1 from Latin AR. And uh, Latin AR, they're doing something very, very exciting. They are making lenses for AR glasses that enable 120 degrees field of vision for those AR glasses, right? Yeah, right. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, Tell us a bit more about the technology that you have developed yep. together with Fraunhofer or, no, or alone, right? Uh, alone. Alone, but yep. you work together with Fraunhofer Institute. Yep. But tell us a bit more about how this works. Yeah. So Latin AR is a Korean startup which develops an optical solutions for augmented reality glasses. The company apply the so-called pinhole effect into the tiny mirrors and embedded them into the eyeglasses lenses. Then users will be able to see the real image and the virtual image at the same time. Respective pin mirrors reflect the light from the display and the guide the light directly into the human retina. Amazing. This is really cool. So I want to show them and I can I can show this to you. So so what you want uh, has, uh, has just told us it's actually let me show that Okay, here are the lenses, and as you can tell, they are like um, small holes here, right? Yeah. Pinholes. Yeah. Pinholes. And uh, actually, they these are mirrors, right? Yeah, those and, are mirrors. And from from above, um, actually, um, the the light comes right from the from the display. Yeah, the 4K display per HI. Right. Is showing the image. That's really cool. So you wouldn't think that these pinholes actually would show an old picture, but once you go closer. Uh, you cannot really. Yeah, you can see it here. Wow, look at this! You can see a really perfect image, perfect AR image that looks very nice, and you can still see the people behind the, behind them. I'm not sure if you can tell this. Uh, yeah, I think you can see it very well right now. So the exciting part here is you see the image really clear, as you can tell right now, but you can still see the people, the things that are going on. Um, behind that. So that is actually really perfect for AR glasses. And the exciting part here is that the field of view is much bigger than anything that I've seen until now at this show yeah. for the for the um, AR glasses. So each of look at this, each of the each of the lenses can make a 80 <coughs> 80 degree field of view. So together when you have the binocular you have uh, 120 degrees field of view. So this is a very exciting technology. Check it out again. It's tough now for the camera to to focus on it. Yeah, but well, you've seen it. It works really cool, and I'm looking forward to try out more of this. So, um, G1. Yeah. So this technology is really cool, and uh, tell us tell us a bit more. Um, how does it compare against um, the technology that Magic Leap uses or that, that Microsoft uses for HoloLens? Uh, yes, so there are multiple traditional optical solutions such as the half mirror or yes. DOEs or waveguides. Reflection yeah. or wave waveguides. Yeah, so the traditional optical solutions tend to use the refraction or diffraction to show the the virtual image. However, the P mirrors are just a simple mirror, total 100% mirror. So the mirrors are showing the very clear image compared to the other solutions. Right. So you can see the image very clear, and because they're still they're only holes, yeah. you can look through and see the whole world just like that. Uh, actually, those are not the holes, but okay. the mirrors apply the, the pinhole effect. Right, right. So the pinhole effect. mirror tends to act like a pinhole, but yes. itself is another, it is another, yeah, hole. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, this is really cool. And um, I'm also wondering um, what other um, positive effects does this have as compared to uh, the, the current technologies? Uh, when you see the lens again, uh, you will see that there are many lenses in there. Yes. Uh, like there are 50 lenses embedded. Uh, it is very easy to expand the field of view, even more than the 80 per eye. And okay, also just, just put more holes. Yeah, we can then you can add field of view and also eye box. Mm -hmm. And also, as I mentioned, premier lens can show the clear image without inducing this because it has extended the depth of field. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And finally, as I mentioned before, premier shows the sharp image. Yeah, compared to the 
devices yes. with refraction or diffraction. Right. Yeah, that's what I also felt. Like it, it looks very sharp. Yeah, can I, yeah, yeah, now you can see it. It looks the image. It looks very clear. It looks really cool. And then, actually, if you're if you're close to it, if you're close to it, you cannot see anymore the holes. You you just see the full image, and I think that is that is pretty interesting. So yeah. so. Um, do you want? When do we see this technology in a in a glass, in a real glass? Uh, so Latin AR will begin providing ISO samples starting from later this year. So okay. it may take about like about three or more years to see ISO okay. yeah, glasses version. Right. Yeah. So this is now the latest and greatest for AR. Uh, yeah. Right. It is very. Leading as yeah, yeah. leading as technology. Yeah, right. are, are you showing this here now for the first time? Uh, for this demo, we've also shown it as the CES event. Okay, yeah. Uh, this All year. right, yeah. And we are leveling the smart glasses for the first time at the Mobile World Congress. Okay, cool. So yeah. um, later, I will I will see the real glasses that use this technology. Amazing. Yeah. Let's go to the next station then. Yeah, for sure. Here is our smart glasses demo. It, uh, the camera is directly yeah. uh, attached to the smart glasses. Right. So when you see through this monitor, the real image and the virtual image is combined and showing the how it works. Ah, uh, here, here are you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So. So here, um, step three and stuff. So what you see right now is actually the the image, the virtual image that is put here. Oh, this is cool. So. Hello there. Okay, this is really this is great. And now, actually, what you see here, like you see some text that is being shown or some compass. Yeah. So we are wow, this is really, really, really like very impressive stuff. Yeah. So we are just done. Yeah. yeah. We are trying to show the like real world examples such as navigation, right. translation, or, or showing recipes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, wow, this is this looks so cool. And yeah, you totally cannot see any of the the little holes actually, right? It's, yeah. it's just like it just works perfectly. Nice. So I'm just gonna go a bit closer. As you can see here, are those holes. And these holes, these holes that you see here, they make this virtual picture here. Wow, this is some cool technology here. Wow, cool, great, yeah, very nice. Latin AR is showing these ISO smart glasses only for the invited guests, but okay. I guess you're one of the invited guests. I am. Let's see the how smart glasses work. Okay. Let me know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Everything is live. No problem. So, so indeed, MRTV is an invited guest at the Latin AR booth. So now, actually, I'm going to try the first real glasses that use this cool technology. Oh, he's bringing, he's bringing it out to me. Yeah, so let's, let's get inside. Hello. So okay. our Latini AR Premier Stunner. Smart Glasses is directly attached to the, directly tethered to the smartphone. So here okay. is the conventional, like, Smartphone like Galaxy Note 9. It's here. a Note 9, okay. And these glasses is just dupli simply duplicating the image from the smartphone. Okay, so you simply see everything that you see on the smartphone now just because of these holes. This is crazy. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna sit down and put it on now. Yeah, yeah? Okay. So here's some uh, sweets for later. So, so. <laughs> okay, let me put this. Wait a moment. Okay, let me just set this up. Okay, everything is live. Hello there, Elite Spa. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to get this live demo with the Latin R, Latin AR um, glasses with the the, the uh, new lens technology. Yeah. Please try on. Okay. 
So, so I just want to show you the form factor. You cannot tell that this is some some AR glass thing. Yeah, just like a conventional glasses. Yeah. It it just looks just looks like some conventional glasses. You see, there's nothing nothing going on here. No, you don't need any optics. So the optics are here. Yes. And they are being like like projected to these little holes here. And I'm going to try it now. Yeah. Wow. Okay, cool. So I see now that this is some kind of a recipe, some yeah. cooking recipe, some video about a cooking recipe now. Wow. So this looks like normal glasses. Hello, guys. Hi, Tristan. Hi, everybody. So this looks like a normal glass. Wow. Wow, this is really sleek. I must say, so far on Mobile World Congress, I've seen some AR glasses, but uh, this year, you can see nothing. I mean, just like normal glasses. Thank you. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, wow, you can be very proud of this technology. So, um, so what I'm seeing right now, I'm seeing, um, I think this is some demo video right now, right? Yeah. It shows just what we saw at the television before, and now it's here. Yeah. So I can see some text, for example, if I wanted to uh, have some translations. Okay, like, hi, translate English to Spanish, and it will show me. This is, this is cool, and nobody can tell. <laughs> Not even you guys can tell that I'm seeing this right now. Now I see uh, a painting. Uh, wow. So I don't think you can, can could, if somebody looks from the outside, they cannot see, right? Because the mirror is only mirroring to my eye. Yeah. From outside. Yeah, from outside. So only I can see the stuff. Uh, or, yeah, only you can see the stuff, for, but yeah. <laughs> yes, only me. Yeah. Can I show the inside? I can try. I can try. Let me, this is only one eye here right now, right? You could do with two eyes as well. It depends on the people who, who make this. Yeah, right. Can you see that? Probably a bit tough to see. Yeah, I cannot get it sharp, but uh, just want to let you know, actually, actually, when wearing that, it is very, very sharp. It is, it is really, really sharp and very cool. So. Now, in, in, for this demo model, you only put like a, a few holes. Yeah, only seven pin <laughs> Only holes. seven pin holes. But before the other one, it, it uses it used two eyes yeah. with 3D and everything. Yeah. And um, it used much more holes. Yeah. So it's it's totally up to the up to the um, AR glass manufacturer what kind of lenses they order from you guys. Um, so they can order like lots of holes if they want. Yeah. So. The Latin AR produces lens based on the customer, and then the smart glasses manufacturers can provide the required the required yes. specifications such as yes. the field of view, depth right. of field, yeah. Wow. And we will design the lens for the special users. Cool. So this technology is bleeding edge, super new. Yeah, very, yeah, very the, new. The, this <laughs> glasses is from like three days ago. Yeah. From three days ago. Yeah. Wow. I'm I... wearing something only three days ago. Yeah. Wow. And the cool thing is you can make 120 degrees FOV. 120 degrees FOV with these things. And you see nothing. That is amazing. Um, not for this size no, no, yet, but... Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. not this one. This one is like, like uh, only one eye. But if you want it, this technology can do up to 120. Yeah, in the... In the future. In the future. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, yeah, I, I just asked you one like, uh, when do we see this in in real glasses? Probably in two or three years, probably, right? Because this is too new. Yeah, yeah. Would you say this is better than the technology that is being used in the Hololens too? Um. <laughs> yeah, I've enjoyed the the conference and presentation from yeah, that yeah, was yesterday. Cool. That was a great. That was great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's cool. So um, this new technology um, call is called pin mirror. Pin mirror because you have these pinholes which actually have a mirror inside. And can you tell us something about um, um, the expense? Uh, how expensive is it for if uh, for gla for uh, VR, for AR glass manufacturers as compared to the other technologies? Yeah, so. We can make the glass or plastic lens 
yeah, we can both make the glass glass lens and the plastic lens, and we can also use the material that are used for making the lens for normal glasses. All right. So material cost would be very low. Yeah. So actually here, yeah. there's not much there here. Sorry, actually these pinholes. It's there's not much technology. It's just it's mirrors. Yeah, it's really just little Simple mirrors. Yeah. Small little mirrors here. Wow, this is very cool. Yeah. So all the technology comes is here that sends the yeah. that sends the um, yeah the the actual uh, picture. Well, LED micro display embedded. Here's That's a micro in the frame. frame. Wow. Yeah. So um, this this gets the energy now from the phone. Yeah. Right. Wow. Simply tethered. Yeah. Simply tethered. Well, this is really some amazing technology. Yeah. So Latin AR, this is a company that we will totally um, keep watching here on the channel because they make a technology that, um, yeah, that, that opens up this kind of form factor for AR glasses. And I'm, I'm actually really excited about it. Yeah. Juan, thank you so much for thank this amazing so presentation. And um, wow is all I can say. Yeah, Ryan, exactly. So Latin AR, definitely some very, very exciting technology here directly from, um, <laughs> from a Mobile World Congress. And Skid Row says, feels like Google will buy the company soon. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that would be good, right? I, I hope you have some, uh, some good package involving stocks. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's it uh, from Latin AR. I really hope that you enjoyed this live stream from Mobile World Congress. I do believe, yes. Oh, I, sorry, I got one more question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because now that we're here. So, um, I'm actually wearing glasses. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm wondering, um, do you also make these as a prescription lens? For sure. Yeah. For sure. So you can like, okay, I have like minus 100 diopter. Yeah. So you can make these kind of things into into this? Yeah, the, there are two ways. First okay. of all, P-Mirrorless itself can have a prescription. Okay. Or simply the independent prescription lens can be directly attached to all the... Right, right. Yeah. So you can make a, put a lens in front or this thing itself can have your prescription. Amazing. That's everything I want to ask. <laughs> Do you yeah. want again? Thank, Thank you very you. much. This was amazing. Um, if you want to con connect with G1 or this company, uh, latinar.com or... Yeah, please contact, contact to latinar.com. Latinar.com. Yeah. And there will be a contact email address and yes. I will answer the He's here. Wow, G1 is going to answer himself. Yeah. Amazing. So you're a company from Korea, a startup? Since yeah. two years? Yeah, only two years. Wow, yeah. you, you have made this happen. Yeah. Amazing. Cool. Yeah, if you like this live stream, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. By the way, if you want more content, then go to MRTVElite.com and you can support this channel and get more content. It's really cool. All right, that's everything that I got for you guys.